was just really an incredible little boy. He was full of life. He was charismatic. He was funny. He played soccer from the age of three up until the age of nine years old uh, when he was diagnosed with cancer. I often say that you know he was really the happiest being out um, in the soccer field, playing soccer, competing against other teams, and you know just um, just being the best that he can you know that he could be. And his you know his dream was um, to become a soccer player. Nico is so passionate about soccer. Uh, every time we had practice, he'd always talk about his dreams of going professional, and every day he'd always say that he'd say, "Morgan, we're going to make it." And one of my main things now is that since he's not here, I promise to him that I'm going to make it for him. He would score, literally sprint back to the half line, and almost as if he hadn't done it and ready to go back at it again. I mean, it was, he was, he was unique, no doubt. He was something special, for sure. Um, I think his soccer gave him the freedom to live the life that he wanted to live. He taught me strength, he taught me humility, he taught me grace, and uh, he taught me to appreciate everything that I had. Sometimes I always felt like he was doing more of the teaching than I was. We never would have imagined that he would be diagnosed with cancer at the age of nine, and that eventually he would lose his ability to play again and he, you know, eventually, because of cancer, would lose his life. There was one time he was going through treatments and he was pretty sick. His dad brought him back out and he was good enough to play and he's running around on the field. I mean, literally could barely get up off of bed and was still doing moves and is still beating kids. And to see him as good and as strong as he was and to see him still have the desire to play and a desire to be out there even as sick as he was is pretty special, no doubt. One, two, three. Nico! My husband and I have wanted to continue to keep his legacy alive and to continue to keep the love that he had for soccer, the love that he had for life, and also the importance of elevating the, the focus around pediatric cancer research. We decided that one of the best ways to do that was to bring the soccer community together around what we now call the Kid Cancer Soccer Camp. And this um, soccer camp, which is designed for you know, children ages 3 to 18, allows for us to be able to bring kids together with uh, soccer coaches, pair them up and they're, they're playing soccer, they're learning, and at the same time we are raising the level of awareness about childhood cancers, about the importance of doing more to find cures for um, pediatric cancer research. This is a program that's very near and dear to me. Um, being a cancer survivor, just the stuff that they've been putting on and the money they've been raising, um, I see the other side of how important this is to the cancer community and just the people it affects and just such a positive impact this has on the cancer community. Um, and it, it's just a fun event. It's a fun, exciting event that's celebrating life, celebrating soccer, and um, I don't really think there's much else, and I don't think he probably thought that there was much else to it other than life and soccer. Those are the two best things right there, definitely. When I see the kids out there in the, in the field playing soccer, doing what my son loved, it's a reminder that Nico is still with us, that his legacy continues. When you first walk up to the soccer camp, it appears as any other soccer camp. Um, just kids kicking soccer balls around, everyone dressed in the camp t-shirts, having a good time. And then once you really start to get into it and read the t-shirts and actually look around at some of the other people who are out there and stuff, you really start to understand um, the purpose behind everything that's going on. Nico is probably the most passionate person I know when it came to soccer. Um, he's just, he always had high hopes and aspirations and every day he strived to be the best soccer player and that's really what inspires me now to play the way I do. I feel his presence, I feel his spirit, 
and I feel his happiness, you know, his happiness that we have not forgotten him, that he's present and that we have really a responsibility to do what we can to provide support to find a cure for um, children that are struggling with cancer. It truly is incredible how the family can take such a, a negative or what seemed to be as a negative and turn it into such a positive thing and turn around and impact so many lives and so many more lives going forward um, given the money they're raising, the support they're giving um, just through the sport of soccer, through the camp and it just it truly is incredible. It's a great purpose. I wanted to say thank you to Nico. My life would not be the same if I had not met this extraordinary young man. I appreciate the angel of a young man who looked up at me every day, smiled with that beautiful twinkle of magic in his eye, and embraced life for everything that it could be. Thank you for the love and support, and thank you for helping us and standing with us as we continue our fight against cancer.